hello. Um, I didn't realize we uh, had a new recruit in here. Where am I? Who are you? Please, please don't hurt me. I don't, I don't know where I am. I. Who are you? Hi. Uh, uh I'm Maria Robotnik the Hedgehog. Um, this is my, this is my best friend Shadow and 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 his chow Jello. Are you telling me you have amnesia? I suppose. I don't really... What you must do is find the seven Chaos Emeralds and bring them to Black Doom. What does that even mean? It's okay. Just uh, just follow me down here. Everything's gonna be okay. What did you say your name was? Um. I think... Who's that? I think my name is. I don't know. Name. Because. Okay, I'm just gonna continue. <laughs> Okay, so, anybody else agree we can never go to that mall again? <laughs> I can't believe Rouge punched the mall Santa. He popped out of the snow like a demon jack-in-the-box! What was I supposed to do? And you think I'm impulsive? Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Ugh. I guess I better go deliver some of these question gifts before I end up with a landfill packed of coal from Santa. Uh, I'll let you guys know what they say, okay? Okay, Rouge. Uh, good luck. Uh, why me? Why me? Hey, why me? Rouge. Come on. Where's your holiday spirit? La 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 Sorry your first Christmas here has been kind of crazy so far, Cosmo. I swear it isn't usually so, uh, violent. It's okay. It's, uh, exciting, like you said it'd be. It takes my mind off of the strange memory loss. Whatever happened to all our memories since you woke up, we'll figure it all out, I promise. Thank you. Um, but will Rouge be okay? Yeah, don't worry. The mole Santa was just trying to deliver all these comment questions from viewers as gifts. As long as we sit down and answer some, uh, he said he wouldn't tattle on her. <sighs> that's a relief. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, sure. You can co-host with me. Co-host? I'll help you along. Guess we better jump right into it. This whole bag was for us. Let's go for it while we wait for our food. Go ahead, Maria, <laughs> Cosmo. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. This is Maria Robotnik the Hedgehog speaking, and welcome to Ask the Sonic Heroes episode 48 with Team Sonic. <laughs> hey. hey, everybody. Hi, What's it's going Tails on? back again. This is our, I think, maybe new friend, Cosmo. Hi! Hello, it's good to be here. If you want to play along and ask questions for the show, make sure you do the, the, the liking and the subscribing because we have these question videos that come out uh, every once in a while and that's where you need to ask the questions for the show while it says open, okay? All right, so the first thing that we do is we ask a question for Sonic. Sonic, could you please pick a number 1 to 30? Since we're in the uh, holiday spirit, I think I'll go for number 24. Steve Lake, to Sonic, what would you do if you ended up meeting Movie Sonic? Would you warn him of possible future events, or would you let him experience those events himself? Huh, you know, it's hard to say. hes It's not like he's from a different timeline, it's more of a completely different dimension. So any experience I could have had, I don't think it 100% would really translate to him. So warning him, I don't think that'd really work. But you know what I do want to do? Uh, I want to test ourselves in a race. I want to see which one of us is the faster Sonic. Any other race that I would have, I already know I'm going to win. But if it's a race against myself, there's no telling how that's going to end up. So yeah, no, I think I'd want to race him. Uh, were you always this fast, or did you get fast over time? Because Movie Sonic is kind of a, he's a new hero. For myself, I kind of always had it. Some of the skills like uh, fighting took a bit of getting used to at first, but speed-wise and everything else, it kind of just came naturally to me. All right, Cosmo, now you get to ask a question for Tails. Okay, Tails, pick a number one through 30. Well, if we're going with the theme, let's do number 25. 
This question is from Gordy Pie. Two tails. If you were forced to design a bad Nick for Eggman, what would it be like? Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> really bad on purpose? Really bad on purpose. Would fall apart if poked. <laughs> but what if, you, what if you, uh, you couldn't get away with that? What if you oh. actually had to... Give it your all. Um, Some assembly required. <laughs> yes. <laughs> assemble it, make him uh, assemble it himself. He's an IKEA robot. <laughs> <laughs> now you put this. That's a little bit of payback to him. And you use the wrench on this one. And then step number six, you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you should make something really incompetent like Orbot and Cubot. Yes. Oh, I would do that. It would be, it would be, uh, <laughs> wait, what combination between a, a circle and a square? Is that a thing? A triangle! A circle and a square? A circle. A square! <laughs> a square! Yes, I would make him a, 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 squir a squirtle bot. <laughs> I guess a cylinder? Cylinder Cylinder <gasps> Oh, we'll make it work. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, Knuckles, pick a number one to 30. 20. I think I'm glad that Rouge had to leave because uh, from Fiction Fan Zero, Knuckles, how successful do you think you could be at giving Rouge a taste of her own medicine by stealing something from her apartment? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> well, this has definitely crossed my mind. It has? What? Well, Knuckles? well, the amount of times that she's stolen things from my island, I mean, you know, it's not the honorable thing from to do. her home in particular? Well, no, I mean, it crossed my mind. I didn't actually think of doing it. But no, if it crossed your mind, then you did you think of doing it, knucklehead. <laughs> anyway, I probably wouldn't be very successful. She's a lot smarter than she's let on. And honestly, I she would probably figure out something was up anyway. In fact, I think she would think it's cute that I would even try. <laughs> you put too much of his stats into power, not enough into stealth. I'm not one for stealth, Sonic. Yeah, I noticed. You break boulders. By accident. <laughs> it's not exactly the mark of someone stealthy. Anyway, that's that's my answer. Okay, thank you, Knuckles. Okay, mm -hmm. Cosmo, go ahead and ask a group question. Okay, Sonic, pick a number one through 30. I'm gonna pick number two for my best buddy's two tails. Ah. Okay, this is from April slash SHSL fan fiction writer to the team. I'd say that the Chow Gardens need a little bit of Christmas cheer this year. What would each of you do to bring Christmas to the Chow? It could be anything, really, just as long as the Chow were happy. You three are amazing, by the way. You're all like brothers, and it's really cute. Brothers, huh? Aw, oh, did that touch you, Knuckles? <laughs> Tails, yes, you know. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, I see how it is. Well, at least I still got my little bro to back me up over here. You know, I'm in the middle now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being the middle man. Oh, no. <laughs> well, if I had to say to give to the child, I would say that I would bring some healing talismans. It's good for, you know, good luck and... What's the word for it? What What is the word everybody use? Uh, fun shui? Feng shui? Feng shui. Feng, feng shui. shui. Yeah. What would you know about feng shui? Rouge. <laughs> oh. uh, you know what? Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> oh, I would give them the biggest and coolest Christmas tree ever. I'd build something so neat for them. It'd be awesome. Do you have any uh, ideas on what kind of tree you would do? Because that's actually going to tie into what I was going to uh, what I was going to do. Maybe four foot tall evergreen with lots of nice lights on it and cute little chow ornaments. That would be really fun. Dude, that would be sweet. I was thinking something along the lines of getting a tree and decorating it, but I just had the idea. Uh, you know how the chow are always grabbing fruit from the trees? Mm -hmm. What if we planted a fruit tree, decorated that fruit tree with a whole bunch of decorations, tinsel, ornaments, all that kind of stuff? But we, the main attraction of that would make it look pretty would be all the fruit so they could grab and eat. That's a good idea too. Then I wouldn't have to build anything. <laughs> that actually doesn't sound too bad. Are healing talismans something that you could put on the tree too? <gasps> exactly. It could be the tree topper. Ooh. Dude, we can combine all of our ideas into yes. one. Yes. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm getting our first transmission from Rouge. Hey, Rouge. I was wondering when we we're gonna hear from you. What's up? Hey, not so loud. I'm trying not to get caught. Rouge, are you back at the same mall that you, we just got kicked out of? Shh. Yeah, 
But, like, where else am I supposed to find a bunch of our friends in one place? Well, anyway, I do see Cream and Blaze already, so I'm going in. Hey, ladies! How's your shopping going? Oh, yes, hi, Rouge. I'm taking Cream around to get some presents for her friends. Ooh, and standing in line for Santa Claus, I see. Don't tell him you saw me. Uh, actually, I, uh, I have a, qu a few quick questions for you guys from, uh, from the audience. Um, Len Tucker was asking to Cream, hey, I wanted to ask if you were ever roboticized by Dr. Eggman. Or another situation like that, how would you live your life if you were a robot? I would believe I would still be nice, or if I'm having any troubles, I would, you know, ask, like, Tails to help me out as far as getting me to be back to, you know, how I really was. Maybe not by, um, what I look like, but what I, what I would be always on the inside. <laughs> what would your mother think? She might be sad for a little bit, and I know that will make me sad a little bit too, but I think, I think all of us will get through it together. And then destroy Eggman for harming you. <laughs> uh, Blaze, I have one for you too, if you've got a second. From Mario Kart Gamer Dude to Blaze, who do you leave in charge back in your kingdom when you come to participate in some of the activities you've been in? Oh, well, it's not as if I run everything all by myself. Um, actually, usually it's Gardon who's, uh, the main guy in charge. Um, he's a koala who's one of the main gentlemen on my staff, and he keeps things very organized. I never have anything to worry about if I have to be away on a mission. Yes, including special missions, like, uh, going to see Santa with Cream. <laughs> Cream, what are you gonna ask Santa for? A chow backpack! Okay, not gonna lie, that's pretty cute. I hope he works it out for you. <laughs> I better move on now. Uh, good luck with the big guy, kiddo. Uh, okay. Hey, Jet. You gonna go meet the big guy? You bet I am. I don't know what you're thinking. What do you get the hawk that has everything? Wow, well, I'm just thinking I'm gonna get some more James Cagney goods. The collection can never stop growing. That's what I always say. How does James Cagney still have merch coming? Anyway, anyway, uh, hey, Jet, do me a favor. I need to answer one of these questions for me. Uh, this one's from Charles Bonson. Um, do you have a secret stash or hoard of stolen treasures? And if you do, what are your security measures? Basically, on my airship, I have this thing called a safe. To turn it to the right a few times, to turn it to the left a few times, and voila, it opens up. I remember that task. That task sucks. I mean, I I haven't um I haven't like tried to get into. Okay, uh, you know what? That's lovely. Thank you, Jet. I need to go before I get in trouble. Wait, you're not gonna. What the? Infinite Tails doll? Man, that is some big boot energy showing up to ask Santa for stuff after what you've been up to. Look who's talking. Didn't you punch him earlier today? Shut up! I'm trying to be stealthy here! Hey, answer this fan mail for me, will ya? We, we have, have fans? fans? Well, yeah, they love you guys. Anyway, from Dominic Armstrong to Infinite, what kind of gift would you get for Scratch and Grounder? I'm going to be giving both of them a shared 500 ounce bucket of I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Why? I'm very livid it's not butter, but it's at least cheaper than getting them a lot of WD-40. Especially Grounder. Practically bathes in it, the wasteful little bucket of bolts. But why do you want a buttered bucket of bolts? You know what, never mind. Uh, Sus Tails, here's one for you from... <gasps> to Tails, doll, why do you kill people? Wait! I get asked about murder and this guy gets asked something wholesome? Unbelievable. Sorry, that's how it goes. Well, ah, uh, look at me. You think my existence is fun? This is someone's fault. Eventually I'll find out who that is. Trial and error, baby. They probably waste butter too, so now we have to give fake butter as presents. 
Um, are you saying that you're just going from person to person to try to slay the one that's responsible for your existence? But wouldn't that be Dr. Egg? Uh, you know what, you know what, I don't think I want to get somebody, uh, destroyed on Christmas itself. So, I think I'm gonna go. Bye, good luck with Santa. Maria, I'm getting out of here, these people are crazy. Okay, thank you, Rouge. Bye. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. Catch Bye, you, Rouge. Rouge. All right, everybody. It looks like it's time for us to speed things up a little bit with the speed round. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> time to go fast. Let's do it. I'm scared. It's just really chaotic. Sonic, give me a one to five. Four. Shadow Prime 4 asks, Sonic, if you were the Knight of the Wind, do you use a sword in your world? Sometimes for fun, but... Like I said before with my abilities and whatnot, anything I really do, I just kind of pick up naturally, so I've not really felt the need to really practice much. It's more so just, you know, nostalgia's sake. Okay, Tales 1 through 5. 5! From Party Hardy XYZ. Merry Christmas, Team Sonic and hosts. To Tails, do you ever weight lift with Knuckles? Would you consider it if you don't? Uh, uh. I mean, I have a robot that can do it. Does that count? No. <laughs> oh, no! Don't look at me! That should probably take you to do some weightlifting from time to time, Tails. Train your tails a bit more. Uh, oh, exactly. that's actually a good point. I like that idea. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I am, I am open to it. Okay. <laughs> One. RYV said Knuckles Punch Sonic! No! Oh! oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I... That's, I, not I a, oh. that's not a question! I like it. <laughs> no, I'm not... Where's the question I'm, mark? I'm going over here. Come on, Stay Sonic. Away. It's for the chat. Oh, <laughs> oh. attention. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Tails one through five. Then did four. From the pizza turtle to everyone, including the hosts. Have you seen any who's that Pokemon question and answers within the Pokemon series? The first one I ever saw was Emolga in season 14. Uh, yeah, back in the Indigo League. Pikachu, Jigglypuff, all those kinds. Guys, guys, wait, I have an idea. What? Okay. Who's that Pokemon? Eevee! That's Eevee! Eevee. Eevee. Yep, Evie's right. Tails wins that one. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. How about this one? Bulbasaur. 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 Oh, I got it. Look at that on that one. That was like a train of Bulbasaurs. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, Polly. Uh, Polly. Polly. Polly World. Frick. Polly World. <laughs> Polly World. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? I'm waiting. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was about to say nose pass. But I love that! <laughs> you know what? I can see that. Okay, Sonic. Uh, number one, please. From Mixie Pop. Sonic, are you scared or embarrassed to show nervousness? I feel like in every game you can't show it. Not in the slightest. I have nothing but absolute faith in myself and my feelings. If I felt that way, you'd see it. You're a really bad liar, Sonic. Yes, you are. I was not lying! <laughs> <laughs> you guys have heard my theme song. Gotta lie fast. What? <laughs> Knuckles, the disrespect. <laughs> okay, Tails, one through five. Three. From Donut Key to Tails, do you ever steal Eggman's tech after missions? Yes. Next question. <laughs> Wait, you do? <laughs> no hesitation. I thought you made all your own stuff. Ah, uh, nah, nah. It's called recycling. Next question. I should listen to this. Um, yep. <laughs> Four. Uh, Shallon Sonic fan says to Knuckles, you're a big, strong boy, and these things are hard as bricks. My question is, do you think you could break a fruitcake with your bare hands? What? Oh, Here please. you go, Knuckles. <laughs> oh, the smack on the table. <laughs> oh, okay, give it a nice hard punch. <laughs> Ow. Crack the table? I, cra <laughs> I cracked the table before I cracked the cake. Uh, <laughs> that's one hard cake. Last question. Uh, Knuckles, one through five. Four. From Char Dragon to anyone and everyone, if you were teleported Black Knight style, what Christmas show would you be in? I gotta really think about that one. I honestly don't know what show it would be. I mean, if anything, the closest would probably be the Grinch. Wow, you want to be in the Grinch? Are you gonna be a who, or are you gonna be the, the Grinch? I'd probably be the Grinch. Oh. I mean, it matches, and he's on a mountain alone, looking down on everybody else. Granted, I'm not looking down on everyone else, but I'm on an island alone. You're still, you're in the- have so much in common. You're in the wow. air, you are looking down on everybody else. I mean, I was trying not to make it sound like I was being conceited, but yeah. I'm gonna go sing songs with Heat Miser. 
Mr. Green Christmas. I'm Mr. Oh, maybe Sun. you two can do it. <laughs> I'm Mr. Heat Blister. I'm Mr. 101. Do, 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 do. <laughs> they call me Heat Miser. Whatever I touch starts to melt in my clutch. I'm too much. Oh, she's way better at this wow. than I am. <laughs> Maybe you two should, should uh, practice sometime together. You know, get a whole show, choreograph it all. I'll make robots for it. Spend some time together, buddy. I mean, I can I can make the bots for it. <laughs> you can <laughs> catch me on stage. I mean, a bot's not going to be the same as another person, though, Tails. I can make it sing. It works. <laughs> I'm trying... <laughs> Tails, I'm trying to help you out, buddy. Come Shh, on. Shh, don't talk. No, quite quiet. I see those stars in your eyes. Stop it, stop it. about you, Sonic? <laughs> Does it count if I say Into the Spider-Verse? That took uh, place around Christmas time, right? What? <laughs> it's not what? a Christmas movie? I think so. <laughs> no, that it's doesn't It's totally a Christmas work. movie if you watch it on Christmas. <laughs> no. It's not a Christmas movie, Sonic. <laughs> but it's a, it takes place on Christmas. What? If people consider Die Hard a Christmas movie, then I can consider Spider-Verse a Christmas movie. <laughs> okay, Sonic. All I right. Like this. And done. Okay, guys. Good job on the speed round. Oh, oh hey, Cosmo. We're here to be Get out of here. I'm talking. <laughs> okay. See you later, little bro. I'll catch you later. Keep I'm sorry I'm spicy today. There you go. <laughs> no, I get you, buddy. You just want to impress your girlfriend. It's yeah, fun. yeah. Shit, and hi. Shut up, Sonic. Oh, hey, Cosmo. There's some for you here. Oh, really? Yeah, there are. Why don't you go ahead and pick number one through five? Um, how about number two? From Tree of Life 911. To Cosmo, do you like Chow? And would you like one for Christmas? Oh, Chow are so adorable. I don't know if I'd be able to handle the responsibility of having one, though. That's true. Pets can sometimes be a really big handful. And with this memory loss, I, I'm not even sure. Maybe I had a chow before. Oh, goodness. Oh, now no. I'm worried. Did I abandon a chow by accident? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Well, <laughs> Remember, chows are full of life, not Christmas. In I'm the sure arms everything's okay. Of... No! <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> Okay, and we'll figure out what happened with the memory loss thing, like, as soon as possible. Like, I know Omega's on the case as well, so, uh, we'll, we're, it's gonna be okay. You don't gotta sing that. Okay. <laughs> I'm working really hard, I promise. Oh, hey, look, there are questions for Maria in here, too. Ooh. Pick a number, one through five. <laughs> sure. Uh, three. This one's from M.M. Sweet. To Maria, do you spend your Christmas with Eggman and the Batniks? If so, have you ever invited Gadget to spend Christmas over there with you? Uh, yes, I, I spend every Christmas with Eggman and the Badniks. The gifts are often quite explosive, but it's really very sweet. Oh, Nobody's no. out there getting hurt, and sometimes Mama Robotnik comes over and it's real nuts. And no, I have not invited Gadget to come over. That sounds like a terrible idea. I can I can see him staring daggers into Eggman the whole time. I'd be time. worried something bad would happen. The Eggman's the guy who took over the world for... What, six months a year? Yeah, it's a little... I think it would be kind of an awkward, like, family Christmas dinner. Um, actually, Shadow does come over often enough for, like, Christmas stuff, but he's, like, he's used to it, so, like... Well, he thinks it's really annoying, but um, he's not, like, in danger. I would be worried about something happening to Gadget, so no, I, I have not invited him to the labs <laughs> for the holidays before. Uh, but we go ice skating instead. That's fun. I don't think I've met this gadget person. Uh, he's, 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 he's my friend from the war. <laughs> Your the friend? War? Yeah, um, I know that was a real weird statement for many reasons, but let's go ahead and move on. This show's not about me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, uh, heck, um, I think I'm getting a, I'm getting a transmission from Rouge. Hold on. <laughs> Hi everybody, um, I'm calling from the Ark, and I have mutated into a horrifying creature. So everyone- oh, You don't look much different to me. I'm gonna kill you first! Get back here! Ah! Get back here, Shadow! Ah! <laughs> everybody, get away from me! Oh wait, no! I have a question for you! Everybody, answer me this, from Luciana Xavier oh, no. to the entire cast of Ask a Sonic Heroes, who would you kiss under the mistletoe? Jed, I'm gonna start with you! Myself! Yourself? 
You can't escape from me! You may have followed me here from the wall! Oh, who was that? Oh my god. Oh, I just killed you Metal killed Sonic. Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic, who would you kiss? Oh, Ew, no. that's gross! Oh no! Oh god, who was that? Uh, hey, Motobug, who would you kiss? I'd kiss Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, now that's a kid for Cloud. Crab meat, pick somebody! Michael Bolton! Michael Bolton! Michael Bolton? Oh, who's that? Oh, oh, Caterpillar, who would you kiss? Oh, oh. That always deserves good kiss. Ew, you want to kiss Ew. Eggman? That's gross. Okay, hang on. Yeah, this is bad on brain. Where are you, Grounder? Where are you? Yes! yes. Oh. <laughs> who would you kiss? Wouldn't you love Rosie from the Jetsons? Oh, Jet! Oh, oh, oh. Where uh, are you? Where are you? Uh, Shadow, come back! Shadow, come oh. back! Hey! Take infinite! Take infinite! Wait, where is he? Take Shadow! Take Shadow! No, take infinite! What? You two were together? What? What? No! No, we're not together. What? What? Oh, I keep okay. missing you! Oh, I keep okay. missing you! Oh, yeah. We are... Get Shadow, oh. he's right here! He's no. right here! Oh, no, 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 no! no. Oh. Thank you for Shadow! Who are you gonna kiss under the mistletoe? Oh, I'm not yeah. kissing anybody, are you kidding me? He okay. just doesn't want to say me. It wasn't gonna be you. It's gonna be me. <laughs> no, it's not gonna be you. It's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah. Right, fine, you're right. It was Justin Timberlake. Hey, Infinite, I know I asked you something earlier, but who are you going to kiss under the, the mistletoe? of Captain uh, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Grounder, you tainted the answer pool! <laughs> uh, good luck with everything, Maria. I'll get a few more for you later. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. Oh, okay! Huh! <sighs> All right, I, uh, I got, I've got my act together now. Um, let's go ahead and start the final round for um, the Team Sonic questions. Sonic, could you please pick one more question, one to 30? Okay, let's go for number 17. Bowser Boy 555. To Sonic, in Sonic X, when Chris shut the portal on you and practically kidnapped you, why did you just go along with it? Were you mad at him for keeping you away from your friends and family and home for so long? No, I wasn't really mad. I knew Chris needed closure that entire time. I knew I could still go home, it wasn't gonna be an issue. I figured though, th it would be best to stick with Chris and let him see this through and really let him get his emotions out. I had a feeling this kind of thing would happen, so I, I, I had my heel, I had my heart steeled the entire time. It was just an experience Chris needed at the time, and I knew that. Well, that's good. And that's he really eventually sweet. did let you go home, yeah. <laughs> As I knew he would. Good. Okay, tales one through thirty. Let's do thirty. This is from Wee Man. Two tales ever since we lost Cosmo. Have you ever thought about who would be a good love interest for you? I recommend Cream. You're both very close in age, and I think she'd be perfect for you. Uh, this is uh, this, this is a little awkward. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do I have to answer this? Ever oh. since we lost Cosmo, I sounds what like what happened to Cosmo. I huh. maybe we have no idea. Cosmo's right here. Uh, I'm so confused. I I don't know. I guess I've never really thought about it. <laughs> um, I'm a lot more into um, my research and haven't really um, you know, like I mean, I mean, I guess maybe I don't know. Um, it's, uh, not really in the forefront of your mind. Your, no, uh, your your love life. <laughs> no, not really. No. Knuckles, do you see this boy's lies? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't think about my love life often enough. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. You're welcome. Anyway. I was lost. Yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting little detail there. We should make sure we report that to Omega as soon as we see him on the Ark again. That makes yeah, me like really curious. Yeah, that sounds like a big deal! Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Don't worry, Cosmo. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay. Alright, Knuckles, let's move on to your last question. Ten. From MartyMan641. 
too, Knuckles. You lived your entire life on Angel Island. And I heard that even though you lived there for a long time, you're still finding new stuff about the island. Is it because you need to keep watch on the Emerald at all times and can barely find time to explore? If the island is high in the heavens, I doubt a new face is gonna fly up and steal it. Well, you would be surprised. I have to stay up here and watch the Master Emerald because, technically speaking, it's... It's a treasure. And Rouge coming up from time to time definitely makes it justified that anyone else with the uh, same amount of experience could do that too. And about the island, yes, it's actually pretty amazing. As long as I've been up here, I've still found things that are completely eye-opening and it's... It's amazing. I guess there may be come, there may be a time where I might be able to leave the Master Emeralds for a little while and just explore the island, find whatever treasures are on there. It makes me excited just thinking about it. It sounds like we just heard your treasure hunting origins. Oh. A little, yeah. To be fair, when you're just standing there next to a big old rock, it's not much else to do. So of course he eventually got that kind of hobby, I guess. Yep. Now, if only we could get you off that island more often. You could explore so many more places, buddy. You've got a lot of friends to babysit the Emerald for you. Like right now. Yeah, you got us, Knucklehead. We'll Think see. about it. We'll see. Hey, uh, I think I'm getting one more transmission from Rouge. Uh, hang on, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm here in Blockward with my grandma, Granny Pecan. Hello, Rougie's friends. Uh, we're here today with my very nice young neighbor, Amy. And um, I I don't know who that is. Is this your nose? <laughs> no, that, that's uh, my horn. He's a horn. chameleon, Granny Pecan. <laughs> That, that's oh, my horn. That's not a nose. I... Oh, I'm so sorry, young man. <laughs> oh, God. No, I, I, I suppose I understand the confusion and the the, the curiosity. <gasps> no, I'm, sorry, that, I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Girl, I'm sorry. I don't know. He was creeping me out. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh no. Oh, good. Grandma, oh, stop! I came here to ask you guys some questions no. from the audience. From Hyper Fox to Amy, first of all, you're my favorite female Sonic character. And my question for you is, what is your favorite Christmas song? It's hard to choose. Um, rocking around the Christmas tree and a happy holiday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From Cleanup Guy, SBO, if you were to train someone as your ninja apprentice, who would it be and why? Tails with his ingenuity, I feel he could make good use of ninja tools, make his own, and his ability to fly adds to a lot when it comes to stealth missions. Well, Though I feel maybe his propeller tails would be a little too noisy. And which Charmy is the perfect flying stealth candidate where nobody really hears his wings when he wants to be stealthy. Indeed, flying into battle like Colin Gaming says to Granny, what was Rouge like when she was little? Was she a good little girl or was she as naughty as she is now? I'm not naughty, I'm nice. Oh, she was pretty naughty. Why do you think I had to start the Christmas Observer tradition? <laughs> it's not what, true. What is she the Christmas has Observer erased tradition. from her memory because it of scared her so badly. Oh my gosh. Don't you remember, Rougie? I come here to visit my sweet little old badger grandma and this is what I get. Espio, please stop helping her. Ah! Espio! So I'm, so I'm gonna beat you up! Oh, you can't Lord. beat up Espio, it's Christmas! Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Rougie was a bit of a naughty little girl, but as soon as we started the Observer tradition, she was very well behaved. We would make Christmas cakes together, she would help me wrap presents. And she wouldn't even sneak a peek at the ones that were meant for her. Grandma, why do you have yeah. dynamite in here? From Zion Gaskins to Rouge, how much did it cost to put in the decorations in your business office? Because they are gorgeous. I got them from the thrift store. I love oh. treasure hunting. So like that's right down my alley, going to places like thrift stores and like little shops like that. It came out to three and a half dollars because there was a half off sale. That is the last place I would expect a treasure hunter to go. That's more well, so the kind of thing me, Vector, and Charmy would go for because rent. 
<laughs> well, yeah. I'm glad I've given you the idea. <laughs> Well, okay, everybody. Um, that's it from me and my grandma, Granny Pecan, Amy, and Espio. Uh, we hope you guys have a good rest of your your uh, your your cafe visit. Don't get kicked out. Bye. Merry Christmas. Espio, are you flying? <laughs> well, okay. Bye, Rouge. Catch Thank you later, Rouge. See you, Rouge. Don't punch another mall Santa. People are gonna Rouge hear us. Rouge punches a mall Santa, gets kicked out. Stop Knuckles it, breaks the table. Sonic. They're maybe they're Sonic, Sonic, each other. Hey. You're listing our crimes. Okay. Well, <laughs> Cosmo. I'll pick number fifteen. This one's from Ryan Silverfang to the crew. If you ate a chaos or time stone slash ruby slash emerald, what happens? Would you become OP or just pass out? What? Have you ever, <laughs> what? Have you ever seen what happens when you put one of those things into a machine? Uh, sometimes those things just explode. So I don't want to imagine that. That's honestly like asking us to eat a rock. Oh. Yeah, like, that too. The danger rock. I am not eating a danger rock. <laughs> the forbidden danger rock, rock candy. Man, it probably doesn't even taste any good. You made a fake chaos oh. emerald. So could you make a, could you make rock candy ship like a chaos emerald? Oh yeah, I could totally. Pop that. except like really big tails. <laughs> Absolutely, let's do it. Right. This idea sounds like fun. I love this a great plan. idea. We'll make some rock candy for later, like a new Christmas tradition. But in any case, our food just got here, so we better wrap up here so that we can make sure we eat everything. <laughs> Goodbye for now. This is Maria Robotnik the Hedgehog. This is Cosmo, and I'm still very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later, guys. This is Knuckles saying uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, this is Tails the Fox, and I'll catch you all next time. Come on, Cosmo, let's go. Uh, okay. Hey, Wave, Merry Christmas. Um, Avery Harris had a question for you. Uh, they said Merry Christmas to the best and most lovely bird. And you're my favorite character. The most lovely bird, huh? You got that right. What was your first Christmas experience like? I spent my first Christmas with Jet and Storm, of course. We had the most amazing dinner and found ourselves so many presents. It's kind of weird gift wrapping items you stole, to be honest. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> Hi, Vector. Cleanup guy wants to know, if you were to recruit one more member to the Chaotix, who would it be and why? Silver being able to have telekinesis and move things around, that would be pretty helpful. It would be nice to have Mighty and Knuckles come back for a while, but you know, they're busy. Yeah, always busy, that red one. Oh, my legs. Ah, oh, Omega, carry me. Oh, hey, wait, while we're here, uh, could you answer this for me? Open Arms ASMR said to Omega as a machine, in your opinion, who is the better inventor out of Tails, Eggman, Gadget, and Maria? I can determine that the answer is a tie between Tails and Eggman, as they are both quality inventors. Tails has potential while being young, while Eggman has years of experience and already knows the ins and outs of technology. Come on, Omega. Let's go home. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone! This is Rouge the Bat and Friends, signing out! Mwah.